Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. A QuickBooks statement prints information already recorded by statement charges and other receivables transactions. Therefore, you can't edit the statement's information directly within the statement window. A typical statement covers a time period and shows the customer's previous balance, new charges, payments or credits you've received and applied to the account, and the new balance for the customer during the period specified. A statement can simply show information like invoices sent to and payments received from a customer over a time period, or they can be used for billing, showing statement charges due and requesting payment of those charges. To create statements, select Customers, Create Statements from the menu bar. Doing this then opens the Create Statements window. In the Create Statements window, you can decide what type of statement you will be creating by setting the desired parameters. First, enter the statement date by using the Statement Date Calendar Date selector. This date will appear at the top of each statement and also appear as the build date for billing statements. Next, decide what type of statement to send. The statement can either show transactions from one date to another or show all open transactions as of the statement date entered. To create a statement that shows all transactions over a specified date range, select the Statement Period From option and then select the first date from the adjacent calendar date selector. Then choose the ending date for the transactions by selecting the ending date from the To Calendar Date selector. To show all open transactions instead, choose the All Open Transactions as of the Statement Date option. If you select that option, you can check the Include Only Transactions Over Blank Days Past Due Date checkbox and then enter the number of days into the adjacent field to create a statement that shows only past due charges if desired. Next, select the customers to whom you want to send the statements by choosing one of the available option buttons and then making any additional selections as needed within the Select Customer section. After that, you can then set any additional options you want the statements to possess by checking the desired checkboxes available in the Select Additional Options section. Also note you can use the template drop-down to select a custom statement template if available. To assess finance charges, click the Assess Finance Charges button within the Create Statements window to open the Assess Finance Charges window. Here you will assess finance charges on any customers and customer jobs that are marked with a check mark. You can remove the check marks from checkboxes of customers and customer jobs to whom you do not want to assess a finance charge. The finance charges appear within the rightmost Finance Charge column. They are calculated based on the default finance charge settings you created within the Preferences window. You can change the amount shown by simply typing the desired amount to charge into this column if needed. When you are ready to assess the finance charges shown, click the Assess Charges button to assess the charges and return to the Create Statements window again. At that point, click either the Preview, Print, or email buttons to preview, print, or email the statements to your customers. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.